Hey, Perry Peacock with Wilderness Elevation. I'm up today. Uh, I'm going to show you some uh, some of our cordage options that come uh, that you can get with our ponchos when you get them. So I'm going to demonstrate a little bit to you, show you show you the differences. When you get a poncho from us, it comes in a stuff bag. And this would be the standard one, and it's just made out of basically the same material as your poncho is. Another option that you can get with the bags that shows up there is Molly, M-O-L-L-E. So that's a Molly attachment system. And it's got uh, webbing here that can be woven into a panel on a backpack or something like that. The standard option right here that comes, if you don't select anything else, this is what you'll get. Uh, parachute cord, this is 550 parachute cord. It's made in the U.S. It's not a cheap import or anything like that. It does have a breaking point of between 550 and 625 pounds. And you get two hanks. Of all these I show you, you get two. One for, one for each end, basically, when you set up as a hammock. The next option you get is Dyneema cord, and you'll see that on there. And this is a Dyneema cord. It has an eye, has an eye on one end. And the other end is, is a plain end where you can tie it off to a tree. So that's your Dyneema cord. It has a 2,500 pound breaking strength. Our next option here is called a whoopee sling. And as you can see, it's also made out of Dyneema cord. And uh, the whoopee sling has uh, two loops on it. One is a stationary loop that you can put around a tree. The other one has this little wooden bead on it. That's an adjustable loop. And with this one, you don't need to tie any knots. Then this is our newest addition right here. This is a Whoopi Sling 2. And this is actually has a, has a slight adjustment on the fixed loop on one end. And then it has your fully adjustable loop on the other end, which uh, fully gives you uh, more than seven feet of adjustment. Now with these Whoopi Slings, if you get a Whoopi Sling kit, you also get a soft shackle if you get the whoopee sling kit. Okay, so if I'm wearing this as a poncho, this is how it goes on. The snaps down the side, of course, snap up to close the poncho in. We've got 12 tie-out tabs around the outside of perimeter of the poncho to set it up as uh, six or seven different kind of tarps. There's a, a cordage sleeve, which opens up, which opens up like that right there. That goes all the way through, all the way across, comes out the other side, front and back. And that's what we put our cordage through to turn a poncho into a hammock. The aluminum tube part right here is just to make it easy to uh, put this thing in the in the middle there and I just start gathering the sleeve across that aluminum tube right here very simple as you can see go keep going till I get out the other side here and I pull the end of that out there and I gotta just get that knot out okay now the knots out on the end here all I do is grab one side of this little loop here. I just pull it open like that. Shove my tubing up through there and my knot. Once I get my knot through there, I just pull on it and it self closes around there. Now, all of our parachute cord comes wound in a figure eight has a little tag on here that says pull and that's because when you pull on that end of it it will pull it pull out of here without tangling so you have the two ends together then you just pull it back till you get to the center so at the center you got a little loop then you just take a whatever you want I just take a pocket knife or something this happens to have a little clip on it so I can just hook that loop on that clip pull it in now that gives me a little weight. And I can just uh, take and drop this knife into the sleeve. 
then I just hold it up here like this and just let gravity do the work. So when it comes out the bottom, like right, so, I just unclip the knife. And now I'm through, now I'm through both sides of this. So now I've got that big loop here. I put the other two ends through that loop. And pull this thing up tight. And now you can see I've gathered the end together. And that's one end of my hammock now. All this other cord on here is used to tie off to a tree or a tree strap or whatever you use them. Now if you're using the Dyneema cord with the one fixed end on it, you do the same. You don't have to fold this in half. This is plenty strong just by itself. All you do is hook that loop on your knife or whatever you're going to use. And then basically you'll just drop that down through. You just take that free end right there, put it through the loop, and you just gather it the same way that we just gathered the parachute cord. Now let me show you how we set up when you're using the regular whoopee sling. We'll see that there's a loop right here. This is a fixed loop. This is not adjust. It's a permanent loop in the, in the sling, the cordage. This is Dyneema cord, by the way. The other end that has the little wood bead on there, that's an adjustable loop. So I can make it small by pulling on one end. So now look, I made the loop tiny like that. Or I can pull it out and I can make the loop big. So that's, so I've got some adjustment when I use the whoopee sling. And I don't have to keep tying and untying knots or anything like that to adjust it. Okay, so to use the Dyneema cord with the fixed end, I'm gonna put it around a tree trunk. I bring it around so I've got the loop here. Then I pull the other end, all that stuff through that. Then when I pull on it, it cinches up on the tree and that will hold in place. And so all I've got to do is attach the soft shackle to my whoopee sling end. So all I do there is I open up this loop right here. Pull that knot back out. Put the whoopee sling over there. Shove everything back through here. And when you look at this, when I, when I pull on it, it tightens by itself. I don't have to work at it or anything. So now there we are. This is a hollow braided, this Dyneema is hollow braided, so we just shove a cord up, we can shove it through the middle of it. So where it comes out right here, if I pull on that at the same time hold against this part, I pull it through and it's like a Chinese handcuff here. Whenever I let go, it stays there, it doesn't move. Now if we come down to the other end where this bead is right here, if I want to let it back down, I just hold against the outside, the outside sheath part, and I pull on the inside. And I can let it way down. So if I want to raise it up or tighten it, I just pull it. You just watch that thing, see it's just going up and up and up. Okay, now this is the whoopee sling too. And the advantage to this one is it has an adjustable end, adjustable length on both ends. So this tag end here goes towards the tree. So I can adjust it towards the tree. And then this other tag end here, when I pull on that, that one goes back towards the hammock. As you see, I can slide my whole assembly up towards the tree. So now, I don't ever have to take this thing down up here at the tree or do anything to mess with it to adjust it. All my adjustment can be taken up in the whoopee sling without ever having to undo or take anything apart. So now I can still take the hammock end up. So look how much adjustment I have in this thing. 
I have to climb on a ladder to get up into this thing. So look at that. I and I still got more adjustment I can make. I haven't even used it all yet. I still have uh, I still have three about three more feet of adjustment I could take out of this thing. So I went all the way from laying on the ground up to here without ever t untying a knot, without ever changing my setup on the tree or anything. It's all this this has so much adjustment in it. I can take it all out just by sliding the cord. Start sliding down. So I can take it down real fast. So our goal with the whoopee sling too was to make it so you should be able to hang just about anywhere, just about any time with that whoopee sling too and not need to really do anything else. So now I just pulled it up about almost a foot. And all I did is just, that's it. This is the easiest, easiest type of setup, the easiest deal. This isn't even a dedicated hammock. This is, it's a poncho that you can use as a hammock or a tarp or a chair, super shelter or whatever you want. But we're still giving you the functionality of a nice hammock.